Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, January 20th, 2016. <clears throat> Started the week late with the Monday holiday, and we're getting back to it. So here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. And uh, basically didn't close uh, off much. We'll go through the uh, exact indices numbers here in a moment, but did gap up and then headed lower. So we couldn't hold the initial uh, impulse gap based uh, post options expiration Friday. Not much to see here on this particular chart. Let's take a look at oil real quick as we go down the list. 29.6250 up uh, about five cents. Not very interesting. Uh, gold was down two dollars and sixty cents. Also not too interesting. Now the stock indices, the S&P 500 gained one point after all that. So really nothing new to be said there. NASDAQ 100 up six. Again after gapping up Boy, if we break that uh, low of October, not August, but October, that's an inverted cup formation. That is ugly. Sox uh, literally up less than a point, 89 cents. <clears throat> so we're not getting any new information there either. Basically, the net of Tuesday was not much. First day back from the holiday and the, the long weekend. Here's a look at the biotech index, though. This is the one that's ugly still. Down 64.40. Doesn't look good at all. Remember, as go banks and biotech, so goes the market. VIX down 97 cents to 26.05, still up in the volatile range. Trend closed at 1.15 with the 10-day moving average at 1.30. That doesn't really give us any new information. NASDAQ volume was 1. Point, I'm sorry, 2.1 billion shares, which is good. Advanced decline ratio on the uh, NASDAQ side, again, negative, almost 900. Not as bad as a couple of days last week yet. And advanced decline on the New York, negative 1,065. Google closed up $8.59. We've been sitting here in the last the same range for the last three days. Apple closed down 47 cents. Amazon gained four dollars and thirty cents, and Netflix gained three dollars and eighty-five cents. So that's the overall picture of some of the major indices and stock charts that we look at. <clears throat> Here's a look at the ES. I apologize, I've been sick, so my voice is shot here. A look at the ES again Monday. We are closed, so you see a few hours of trading. Whether they just open it, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, so you can see the gap down on Friday. Uh, for options expiration, we rallied a little bit, made new lows, came back up, closed just a little bit above where we started the day, but we never came close to filling that gap. And then Tuesday here, we gap up, head down initially, come back up near the highs, and then we just spend the rest of the day slowly making the way down to the lows and filling the gap, uh, and actually a little more than the gap. And then we got a 13 buy signal, and that was the low of the day, rallied up a little bit, pulled back, closed basically even for the session. As we already talked about. Here's the NASDAQ side, pretty much looks the same. So it was a real slow process just to fill the gap on the session. All right, so what do we have to look forward to tomorrow? It's Wednesday already because of the short week. So we've got uh, MBA Mortgage Index at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. The big number, of course, is the CPI an hour before the bell at 8.30, and housing starts and building permits also comes out at the same time. Crude oil inventories an hour into the market. I guess they didn't move that after all. Uh, and then we still have some data left. Uh, for the rest of the week, uh, but it's that CPI number that can have a big impact. So we'll be watching that one, obviously, see what it does to uh, the markets for the early gap. And then, uh, like I said, in the weekend preview, I expect Wednesday and Thursday to be the better trading days of the week. So those are the ones the next two ahead of us. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal12. We will be in the trading lab. If you have not taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We can help you out for a couple weeks. And if you do find these videos useful, Please like them on YouTube. It does help us out. Have a great trading Wednesday.